How's it going YouTube? It's Elliot Plays here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to more Amnesia the Dark Descent, guys. Last time we got to here. If you remember last time we left off here. Um, in Daniel's story. So we're gonna... We have to um, pull some books, I think. I'm gonna stand this side. Right. I think the books are around here, so... We gotta do it so before time runs out, so... Got it. Hey, we did it right, okay. I'm just gonna get this book, because we've got a... Get a book. I'm gonna throw it. Washa! There we go, now we've got a note to read. Alastad and Berenberg Castle 1801. Another rain rich with law is Alistad, deep within the East Persian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbour, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest clad mountains, dressed with a scattered lakes, is as picturesque as it can be. Albert, the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the wind spread superstition. All travellers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting experiment entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motives that keep reappearing. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the 30 year war. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies rough by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gathers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agri Agrippa, the well-known Agite visited Alistair, at the start of the 16th century, he resonated in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdom past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a borough in the northwestern glades only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grand Noble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alistair, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Baron of Brunnenberg lives in a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Alistair, and live most those of noble birth, rumours and inherited alongside. The title researching the history reveals little before the castle was uh, before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander Nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time to occupation and joined the convent order of the Black Eagle along with the greater leaders of this country. Alright, cool. Got a bit of insight there. The door's locked and won't open. What do you mean it's locked and won't open? What do you mean? What do you mean? I did do this right, right? I want the door open. What do you actually mean? Oh, there's a key here. Never mind. What? What? 
What? What? What do you mean? Okay. Getting freaked out by nothing. There, Daniel, my dude. There's also a note in here as well. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research for long enough without the absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they file the trial of Brennenberg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cell will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can root for, rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, it would in a sense solve both my problems. And now it's open. What do you mean? Why is it open just now? What do you mean it won't budge? Right. It's gonna go back this way. No. What do you mean? Is that actually him? Is it actually him? No, 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 no. No, he's not here, dude. For real, he's not here, though. What do you mean? Right, let's go back to the old archives. Let's go back to the entrance hall and go back down to the wine cellar so we can start getting some, um, chemicals and stuff that we need to gather for the thing. Ah, oh, what do you mean? Ow! Oh, Ow, oh, mother trucker, dude. You motherfucker. You actual motherfucker. Is the wine cellar down here? No, that's blocked off. It's not down there. Alright, let's go back down here. And let's go and do the wine cellar. Okay, to the wine cellar, my dudes. Is it down here, the wine cellar? I think it was. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, inventory, key. Awesome! We got the key, we're in the wine cellar. Let's go, let's go. The statues of prey and gazing at the dark dooms, so you can see them. Ooh. That looks a really freaky um, thing there. It's a loaded screen, should I say. Right, okay. Which, yeah, my dude. I don't need the light on, because it's like, it's quite light down here. No. Bright lights, lads. Bright lights. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left nothing up wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> Alright. I picked up Cooper. I'm in the I'm not in the darkness, I'm here. I'm here. I read the light, okay. I'm in the light. On. As long as I can kind of see where I'm going, I'm okay. Okay, I won't go in there yet. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for disturbing you. I'm sorry for disturbing you, friendo. Rocks, stop. Just 
stop the madness, lads. Stop the madness, lads. Stop the madness. But it's not working. I mean, like, don't worry about it. I mean, I mean, like. Ah, uh, feels like I'm drunk. Is he still here? What do you mean? I don't feel like I'm drunk. What the hell? Bro, chill. You just gotta chill, dude. You just gotta chill. It actually feels like he's drunk, dude. Like, he's sounding his solo. It feels like he's drunk. Found some other one. Get up, Daniel. Or oh, per You're fine, dude. Just chill out. This is just the store. Where the door? Um, being that door, being this door. Then you go with this door over here. I'm stuck. Let's try this door over here. At least I won't break on me. Tender box here. Is there any more tender boxes? Daniel, chill out, dude. You chill out, bro. All right, there's one here. Uh, whoa, whoa! Ah, barrel, why? Barrel, why? The barrel just knocked me out, dude. Look what the heck, barrel? What do you mean? That was a rude barrel. How can you do this to me, man? Barrel, why? Make the damn candle, you bully. He's thinking that much, I can't make the candle. Okay. He's standing here for a bit to get his sanity back because he's being a trippy ass bitch right now. Alright. So. The bluish light. I need to move these. Hold down. Let's go for strong. For strong push. Get out of here. Push, damn it. I need to push at you, Willy. So be stuck. Uh. Get out of here. Ow. That was my face. Get out of here, stupid thing. Yeah. I want you to leave. Get out. Get out. Can I still get out the door? Yeah, I can still get out the door. Okay. Fine. I want to actually fill up. Quickly. Fill up quickly. Okay. All right. We have. Stop controller, please. Right. Now we need to go where that monster was. I think like here. Is it this one? 
go. There's one way monster would grow that way that we have to go into to get the last one. Okay. Let's follow that sound. Ew. Nice. Nice farm. Nice. Like this. Because I've got enough tinder boxes. That's a bright light farm. What's happening? Oh, it feels like my chest is going to burst. Oh. Maybe you had too much of this, my friend. My God, Wilhelm, do something! You've had too much of this, bro. Except that you're going crazy. Not getting out of here, How can you say that, Alexander? You piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> oh damn! Right, we've got the last one. I guess it says. Yeah, and then we've got a note. So let's read the note. My name is Wilhelm, House of Gerridge. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago I was summoned to the castle of Brandenburg at most of the Atru uh, Chris I can't even say these words. Aye, that one. I was curious about what this supposed knight of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honours I've been ruled with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I'd like to claim that I struggled with my decision but it came swiftly and I accept it wholeheartedly. Ever since that day I've brought men, women and children to Brennenberg. I can't remember the number but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs but insisted I joined and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine and my men drank without restraint. So it begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. It was weak and fell into his diabolical ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. But has begun to pour from my eyes and I can no longer. Oh dear. Alright, so we've got the ingredients now. Now we have to go back to the laboratory, guys. Now we've got to go back to the laboratory. Um, and. Yeah, we're gonna go back to the laboratory and do this experiment. And. Get the goop that we need to open that. Get rid of that goopy red stuff. I don't know what the heck it is, but we've got to do that to get rid of that. And then we can get through there and continue the story, I guess. Oh, there's more goop, there's more goop, there's more goop, there's more goop. There's more goop. Ow, motherfucker. Ah, you bitch, stop. Yeah, when you go in here. That was rude. Why would you do that? For real, that's me. Oh my god. That was duty one of The cost of desert desert desert, I meant to say that. Right, now we need to go downstairs. And I need to stop wasting my London for real though. Right. I need to go in this room, I think. Is it this room? Oop, drunk. Yeah, it's this room. Alright. Um, okay. Alright, now we need this one. Bloop. This one. Bloop. This one. Bloop. 
Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Oh, what well, that's it. Yeah, this one. Bloop. And then we need to put this. Can't use item this way. What do you mean I can't use item this way? That's where it goes, dude. What do you mean? There we go. Okay, right. Um. Turn these. Turn all the valves on. Awesome. Level. And level. Done. We have a pot of acid. Okay guys, we got a pot of acid. So I think that's a good place to end that part of Amnesia, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Amnesia. The Dark Descent, guys. If you did, don't forget to smash like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and like what you saw. And I'll catch you guys next time in the video. Peace out, guys. Have a good night. What in the world, y'all? Yeah.